Wait, what? You can freeze group tracks in Ableton Live now? No, this isn't clickbait, it is 100% legit. If you're an Ableton Live user, you probably know that one of the most highly requested features for maybe 15 years has been the ability to freeze group tracks. And with version 12.1, you can do that by enabling an undocumented hidden feature using an options.txt file. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to enable it, but first let me demonstrate how it works so that you can see it, that it's real and I'm not wasting your time. All right, so as you can see, I'm in Ableton Live 12.1. This is the stable version that was just released. And I have this project with a group track for all my melodic instruments. And so just to verify that it all works perfectly with the effects on the group being printed onto the audio, here's how the group sounds without the effects. And so now I will enable unfiltered audio lo-fi AF for some lo-fi goodness and a side chain compressor side chain to my drum track. So here's how it sounds with the effects. So now when we click on our group track, we can see that we have freeze track and freeze and flatten track, which wasn't there before. So I'll hit freeze track. So as you can see, my group is frozen now. The effects are frozen as well. All the tracks inside of it are frozen. Now playing the tracks in solo in this situation isn't available, so I can't, for example, just solo the piano. All the tracks inside are internally bounced to a single track. And this becomes apparent when we right click again and flatten the track. So now we have the group flattened with the side chain compression and the lo-fi effect printed on it. So as you can hear, side chaining works perfectly and is being printed onto the final flattened audio track. However, one thing that doesn't get printed are return tracks. So if you use return tracks to process either the whole group or some tracks inside the group, the processing of these return tracks won't be printed onto the final audio. Not a huge problem for me, just thought I'd mention it. Oh, and shout out to my man Mehdi for putting me onto this piece of precious info. Oh, just one thing to note, for me, it didn't work in the session view, only in the arrangement view. Now, hopefully they will add this as an official feature in some of the next live updates. But until then, here is how to enable it. Some of you may know that Live has the option to enable some experimental features by creating an options.txt file, adding a certain command in the file and placing it in your preferences folder of your Ableton Live installation. So let's first see how it's done on a Mac and then on a Windows PC. So if you're using a Mac, you need to open text edit and paste the command dash underscore group track freeze without space. I will put it down in the video description so you can just copy and paste it from there. So then to save it in a plain text format, you will need to go to format and choose the option make plain text. Click OK. And now this is a plain text file. So we hit file, save. Let's save it to our desktop options.txt. So after we've done that, we go to finder. We can just click on the desktop and we'll be in finder. Make sure it says finder. Up here, click go, hold the option key where it says alt on your keyboard and click on library. So this opens our library folder. Scroll down and find the folder called Preferences. And inside Preferences, go into the Ableton folder. Now in your Ableton folder, find the folder for your current version. There might be a lot of folders if you installed some previous versions. We go into the Live 12.1 folder and we just copy the options txt file inside that folder. So if you are on Windows, here is what you need to do. Open Notepad and paste the command Again, it will be in the link in the video description. Save it with the name options. So then you open Windows Explorer and in the address bar, you type percent update without space percent. Hit enter and it will open this folder users username update roaming. You open the Ableton folder then. So go into the live 12.1 folder, open the preferences folder and then you copy your options.txt file in your preferences folder and that's it. So that's all you need to do. Just make sure to restart live if it was already open while you were 
creating the options.txt file. And so with this whole options.txt thing, this means that this is an experimental feature. This is not an officially implemented feature. That's why it's hidden. I would assume that it's possible that there might be some buggy behavior, but honestly, it has worked perfectly fine for me. So definitely give it a try. If you're watching this video, I assume that you are an Ableton Live user. And if that's the case, you might enjoy my Ableton Live packs. You can check them out from the link down in the video description. I've got a few sample packs as well. And also I've got a bundle where you can buy all packs for half price. But that's all for the video. Give it a like if it was useful. Subscribe to the channel if you are new here and you find this content valuable. And I will catch you in the next one.